When I first started CrossFit, I did start noticing a bit of a change in my body and the upper body was a very big if issue for me to start off with because I couldn't fit into the clothes that I really wanted to fit into. I was scared that people would think that I looked disgusting because I had um, a little bit more de definition than, than the average um, person always something being said about my legs. Why are your legs so big? They're like boys' legs. I really didn't like it at all and I didn't like that I couldn't fit into jeans like everybody else could and I felt stupid and different. Yeah, I, I get heaps of, of comments about how my abs don't, they're not normal and, and how it, I look gross and all these negative comments. I think I found more value in myself when I started doing CrossFit and that was defined by things other than how I looked. One day I just kind of said to myself like enjoy the ride and, and, and just go hard and train hard for, for the results. When I started to educate myself on how to look after myself, you know, and the way I still view CrossFit even though I'm a competitive athlete is I still view it as that strength and conditioning program that, you know, is supposed to make life easier, make you fit, make you healthy. Man, I'm, I'm proud of my muscles. I've worked hard for these bloody things. Worked so hard for them. And I think that every female should be very proud of their body. Whatever, whatever shape or form it is, they should embrace it. probably the best that I've ever felt. I think that was potentially, or it could have been my best year. I remember before leaving for the games, I was like PBing everything, everything was on point, no sign that there was anything wrong. Meanwhile, Cara Webb, like you thought, is having trouble. She has yet to complete her second 50-foot handstand walk. Cara Webb sat in second place coming into this event. And as soon as I went upside down on one hand um, for a handstand walk, my that nerve just didn't couldn't take it anymore after the volume that we'd done. My arm went numb. I had been sitting in first all weekend, dropped to third, and at that point we made the decision to stop the game, just not do the final. Um, and it was probably the most heartbreaking thing I think has ever happened to me. It was really, really devastating. Cara Webb, who came into the overall lead, and she looks miserable right now. 2015 games. I expected it to go a little smoother than it did. I really thought that I couldn't be so unlucky to have two big, dramatic, crazy years. That's a phase of extreme fatigue for the woman who came in with the overall lead. I suffered heat exhaustion, heat stroke. I don't remember running the final mile um, at all. Collapsed and passed out at the finish line. Carl Webb just collapsing into the arms of Anna Tonicliffe, who's trying to get her some water. I think it was one of the coolest things that's ever happened because for one, I didn't know I could push to the point that I pushed to. So, um, yeah, I proved that I'm definitely a little bit stronger than I thought I was. Um, and then to even keep pushing throughout the weekend and survive. And then, you know, in the results side of thing, fifth is still amazing given, you know, given the circumstances. So what was going through my head was Shane told me that I needed to beat Cara and Sam and I literally was standing right between them and I was like, how am I going to beat Kara's legs? And how am I going to beat Sam's arms? Tia Toomey is another rookie who came in in fourth place overall. She's gonna try to make it onto the podium. She is currently ahead of Kara Webb. So, but then he's like, Tia, you actually got second. And I was just like, Katrin ah! David's daughter. We'll finish on top of the podium. We will have a rookie there as well, and it's Tia Toomey who will finish in second place. When you talked about names you expected to be on the podium when this season started, those two were nowhere to be seen. The fact that I came second at the CrossFit Games, the fact that like I even podiumed, it surprised the fuck out of me. <laughs> I still think, question myself and ask like, how the hell did I do that? And how am I ever going to back that up? So how come you're getting up this early? So the, our class starts at um, 
5.30 a.m. our first class. So what time is it right now? Uh, it is 20 past five. Shane's actually allergic to dogs. <laughs> you have two of them. Yeah, we have two of them. I didn't set my alarm on my phone and then an update came up on my phone. Mm. And I hit update and then I wanted to go to sleep and I was like, no, yeah. I had to wait for it to do all of its updating and then I could set my alarm like, oh, and I had this bright light and I was just like in bed holding it. Jace is fast asleep. I'm like, I want to go to sleep too. I love coaching, yeah, I really do love coaching. I get a lot out of it myself, as well as being a slight part of what CrossFit did for me, you know, and offering that and sharing that for other people. I, I get a lot out of that. We are really lucky to have such a, a great gym where everyone's so supportive, and, and I'm really proud to be a part of it. I definitely don't think I train as much as a lot of other um, CrossFit Games athletes. Don't get me wrong, I train, I train a lot, I train really, really hard, but my focus has always been more so on the intensity rather than the amount of work, the, you know, the quality over quantity. My training hasn't really changed compared to last year. Obviously, you're just trying to be better, so you're trying to improve your strength. So I'm trying to hit heavier numbers and trying to hit faster time. My goal is to be a CrossFit athlete. I don't just want to be a strong Olympic lifter. Otherwise, I would be out doing Olympic lifting. I don't want to just be a gymnast. Otherwise, I would just be doing that. I don't want to be a marathon runner. Otherwise, I would be doing, a mar you know, doing marathons. I want to be a CrossFit and I love and believe in this sport. That means that I need to be well-rounded and I need to fill these gaps. It has probably been a little bit more variance. So um, when I go to the CrossFit Games, hopefully when they say if there's a yoke carry, I'm like not, holy shit, I've never done this one before. I'm like, yes, I've done this and I know how to do it. So there's this episode of The Simpsons where um, it all comes back to The Simpsons where Bart runs away from like their, it's like their camp or something, hey, their school camp, and then they're, like, they're talking to this like kind of country guy and he's like, I ran away, you know, from my camp, he's like, he's like I got lost from the group, he's like, um, what do you say, he's like, I married a bear. He's like, start a family, and then she's like, and then he like, they pan over to his wife, who's a, not a bear, it's a woman, and she's like, I told you, I ain't a bear, and then, and he's like, rah, 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 nobody understands you, she bear, and now, every time I get, like, grumpy and tired, all the boys just go, rah, 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 no one understands you, she bear, and so now I'm she bear. What are you eating? I'm gonna eat eggs and avocado. It's actually chocolate cake and white chocolate cake. Oh, <laughs> yeah. The, the icing has come off, but it is thick. It's nice. Who bought that? So good. <laughs> Look, Rio wants some too. <laughs> Shit! Holy fuck, I almost blew up the house. This is why I don't cook. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> then they're already cooked. I just can't heat them up. What's going on? Just watching the um <laughs> the wrap up of the Pacific region. I think I saw like little bits, but I just thought, oh yeah, let's watch it again. Have a bit of faith, man. <laughs> uh, they just were just saying Danae didn't think that um, after day one or maybe the end that I wouldn't be at the top of the leaderboard. Um, you know, given I don't know the scoring and the workouts and all that kind of stuff. That's fit. That's that's all right. Yeah, I'm up for a challenge. Danae, I'm excited to see a couple of athletes, none more so than the second fittest woman on the planet from last year, Tia Claire Toomey. I was, I was very nervous. I, I guess in my mind, I was wondering whether or not I could actually make it back to the CrossFit Games. Regionals this 
year was more fun than ever. I think every year it gets a little bit more fun, a little bit more stressful, but also relaxing at the same time, if that makes any sense. Cara Webb, three reps to go. Here she goes, she needs to sprint to the end of the arena. She's taken out the number one spot again. Cara Webb, amazing performance. Tia Claire Toomey. She's heading off shortly to the Olympic lifting trials to possibly go to Rio for the Olympic Games. That's coming up in June. Um, once this weekend's over, I've got a week to um, dive into a bit more weightlifting and prepare for my Rio qualifier, which is at, um, in Fe Fiji. So when I started both crossbow and weightlifting, knew that the Rio was going to be this year and then obviously this was um, the first year I was really going to try and aim for the Games. If I can be successful in achieving both of those, it would be a dream come true. But this lady in front, Tia Claire Toomey, is just powering on and leaving everyone else in her wake. Oh, it's a close race. It's going to be a very <laughs> tight race to the finish. I'm on the edge of my seat. The crowd is going. I don't even know why I like winning. It's funny, like if I, if I, I think it's just something, it's like in my blood, it's my chemistry, you know, from, you asked my mum and I remember mentioning to her that somebody said, oh yeah, you know, she's really competitive and she was like, yeah, you think? Like she's been like that since day one, just competitive with everything. Do you think you can win the game? I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm so scared of, of saying that I, I, I'm going to win and then failing. Because like that would be just heartbreaking. I walk out onto that competition floor and it just feels right. I want to try and win. I'm not someone that just, I'm not going to work this hard for nothing. Um, you know, just to, I'm not the person that just wants to qualify and then that's the end of the road for me and I'm just going to go to the games and fluff around and that's, that's me done. I want to go and I want to progress and I want to move forward and I want to try and be the fittest on earth. Once I realised that there was no more trials left and everyone had competed and, and we knew everyone's results and I still came up on the top, it was such a relief. And to say that I can, I'm going to go to the Olympics as well as the CrossFit Games and experience it, that there is more of an achievement for me right now. And as much as I would love to podium again, like who wouldn't, um, I've, I'm so proud to be able to say that I've been to both in the same year. Winning the CrossFit Games would mean the world to me. I still do CrossFit because I believe in it. I love the culture, I love the education, I love what it does for my body, for my health, for my mind. You know, I just don't feel right when I'm not doing it. The thing that I really care about is if my parents and my sisters and Shane, I think that means more to me if they're proud of me. I'd be more satisfied if I knew that they were really happy than for me to be happier for myself. I will still always continue to do CrossFit at different levels, you know, one day I'm going to do it at a totally scaled down level and I'm going to be pregnant and then have a child and children, multiple children, you know, and I'll be older and I'll be doing it and I'll be doing it in some regard. I believe in the sport and I believe in why it was created before competition. 